back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a more of a chatty video just as a bit of advice, going through a few tips and things that I wish I knew before getting into nails. Just for the beginners really, if you're looking to start getting into nails uh, maybe in 2021 then this video is definitely for you. I wanted to do one of these videos basically because when I first started doing nails in August of last year I sort of found myself looking for these types of videos on YouTube just to get a bit of advice really because I didn't really know too much about it. Um, so basically I wanted to just try and help the beginners if two people see this or 200 people see this just as long as if I help somebody then that's basically what this video is for. I think when I first started doing nails I thought that I was going to pick up the brush and know exactly what I was doing. I thought like I would go to the nail shop, I would get my nails done and I'd think oh my god these are banging this is what my first set's gonna look like. And I couldn't have been further from the truth, really. <laughs> my first sets were absolutely horrendous, just probably like 90% of other people's first sets are. Um, but I honestly thought I was gonna pick it up like that. Like, I thought I was just gonna know exactly what I was doing. I thought my, le my sets were gonna look flawless. It was gonna be great. And it didn't turn out like that. <laughs> and I think that's one thing that people need to realize is that it doesn't just come naturally i mean some people will will have better first sets than others but there's just so much to learn i think it looks so much easier than it actually is um and i think it's just important to remember that but also just making sure that you take pictures of everything and um, because i even when i used to do sets that i was literally embarrassed of i would just make sure i take a picture nobody has to see it other than you it's so good to have those pictures there to look back on even weeks or months down the line it's just so good to compare your work and see how far you've come or see your room for improvement wherever you could, you know, say for example it was your shaping or your application that you thought might need some work then you know the areas where you need to grow. Take pictures of all your sets just so that you've got them there to sort of keep track of your progress. I still have pictures of when I first started doing nails and honestly it's so good to look back especially like I first started my first set was a set of French tips and then I recently did a set of French tips and there's so there was I think there was around about four months um, apart and it was so good to see the actual progress between them both which normally I wouldn't I, I don't think I would have sort of noticed if I didn't have those original pictures I probably would have just done the set and not even thought about it but to actually see the progress that you've made it just gives you such a boost and makes you want to carry on. I thought it was good as well to have those pictures of your own work and um, because a lot of the time I found myself comparing my sets to other people's and even if those other people that I was comparing myself to they might have been doing nails for one year they might have been doing them for two years comparing my work to how they how theirs were I was just putting myself down it was not doing me any favors I was always comparing my work to other people's there's people that have been doing this for years like you just follow accounts on Instagram and you don't know how long they've been doing it for people could have been doing it for two weeks some people could have been doing them for two plus years and there's just so many there's so many accounts out there that I was finding myself comparing myself to and it was just doing me no favours it was getting me down and I think I sort of listened to my own advice in the end and I sort of thought why am I comparing my sets when I've been doing this for a few months and I'm comparing myself to people who have been doing it for years and then it just sort of clicked in my head and I, I just thought I can appreciate other people's work for inspiration rather than comparison so I think that's one thing that you definitely need to sort of take note. Another big thing is making friends and talking to people. Now on Instagram it can be there's that many accounts and that many nail techs out there that it can be quite daunting I think. Like you just need to chat to people and make friends and sort of support each other because at the end of the day if you support them they'll support you and I think it's just nice that you can have people to sort of speak to that are doing the same thing as you that you just to get advice about products and trends and things it's just always nice to have people there to chat to so make sure you make friends and support each other because at the end of the day the people that you're supporting will always support you back another thing that you need to bear in mind is that social media is not everything obviously it's a great tool to present your work that's where most of my clients come from is from instagram 
um, but and it's great to showcase your work and show exactly what you can do but I think sometimes I just let it I just overthink it and I see other accounts that have got thousands and thousands of followers and I think why don't I have that or do I need that or you know my work mustn't be good enough because I don't have that many followers I don't have thousands of people following me but at the end of the day if you've got 200 followers or you've got 200,000 followers you can only both do the same amount of clients in a day and just because somebody's got 200,000 followers on Instagram for example doesn't mean that they have 200,000 clients and although yeah it's a great confidence boost for you know for people to appreciate your work but I just don't think you should overthink it especially when you're first starting out I think you just need to concentrate on you know the sets that you're producing and improving your work and I think that's the main focus that you need to to bear in mind and and not get too fixated in it um, because it can definitely get you down and it's definitely not what you need. Unfortunately it is inevitable that at some point you will get disheartened. We've all been there including me very many a times um, but it's just a given at some point you know you're learning you're, you're going to be learning for a, for quite a long time if anyone that does nails is always going to be learning there's always new things to learn and now it's very easy to get disheartened and sort of not because when you're not producing work that you think is absolutely spot on and it's 10 out of 10 it's hard to sort of beat yourself up and, and get disheartened by it all and I've been there I've done it and it's it's gonna happen it will happen especially when you're learning but you just need to sometimes I think you just need to put your brush down walk away and try again tomorrow or the next day just give yourself a break don't overthink it come away see where you need to progress work on it practice and you'll get there like it, it will happen another thing that I just want to highlight is that some people have natural talents to things such as art um, I've seen nail techs that have been doing art since the age of five and they can literally draw anything on a set of nails and I am literally the least creative person and I can't even draw a stick man so I'm going to struggle with things like that but that doesn't mean that they're better than me. Like I say if you want to learn that then you can but it's just good to bear in mind that people have natural talents sometimes and sometimes it takes people longer to learn things than others. I know some of these things are going to be easier said than done um, and I definitely need to listen to my own advice sometimes and I'm mainly saying these points to you because I know that they've sort of gotten me down in the past and that's definitely not what you need especially when you're trying to learn and another thing that I get really disheartened by is especially when I was learning I was introducing new clients and doing new clients it was really nerve-wracking and that's definitely something that sort of just comes with time and it, it's so nerve-wracking doing new clients practicing on people you know is so important i think it allows you to sort of find your feet and make mistakes that you you need to make to sort of learn from them but also without worrying what a client might think people that i could practice on like my friends my mom like anyone that was sort of free to help me out and practice on it was it was great for my confidence and sort of finding my feet with it all you know you're not the quickest when you're first learning take your time at the end of the day you just need to remind yourself that you're a beginner everyone has to start somewhere everyone starts from the same position everyone starts with no clients no followers no idea what they're doing and that's okay we all have to start from somewhere and it's just about finding your feet finding where you need to improve on taking your time and and just enjoying the experience because you don't want to stress yourself out find yourself not enjoying it you just need to remember why you started and just bear that in mind and just make sure you keep going because sooner or later you will look at those progress pictures and you will see the after and it will all be worth it so bear that in mind i hope this helps some of you like i say even if it helps two people or it helps 200 people i just wanted to sort of make a video just with a bit of advice for the beginners please bear it in mind and if you've got any questions or if you need any help i'm always here to answer any questions or if or if you have anything that you want me to go through then just drop me a comment or drop me a message my instagram and my tiktok are at the nail room by juice make sure you follow me on my other socials as well and i'll see you guys in the next video